Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel Victoria Physics. We were doing Zener diode as a voltage regulator and part one we have already done that is line regulation, uh, Zener diode line regulation and Zener diode line regulation draw section. This we have done in another class and if you uh, just wish to go back and revise that section, the link is provided in the description box. You can go to there uh, and click and uh, revise that line regulation section. Now, uh, since we were doing basic electronics uh, lab in virtual lab part, I, I hope you uh, by now know how to reach this virtual labs window. Just type in Google virtual lab, the very first uh, thing that comes up, click on that, you'll get the virtual lab uh, window opened up right in front of you. Move to basic electronics part and from there, move to list of experiments and you'll get this Zener diode experiment, which is uh, experiment number nine, probably. OK, and we were doing this as a part of our curriculum. That is, uh, it is there in the syllabus of Calcutta University uh, Physics Honors Fourth Semester CBCS system. OK, so let us move to the line regulation part. We have already done the theoretical section, the procedure section in our previous uh, video. Over here, uh, we will do the Zener diode load regulation. OK, I hope you are uh, aware of what is load regulation. And if not, just go through the uh, theoretical part of, uh, and you'll be able to understand. So clicking on uh, load regulation, just a second. OK, uh, actually, in this type of uh, regulation, the input voltage is fixed and the load resistance is varied. And the output voltage remains same as long as the load resistance is maintained above a minimum value. Okay, so uh, this window by now, if you are familiar, we have a, a control section. We have this uh, uh, circuit done over here. You don't have to connect the circuit. It has already been done over here. You just have to change the parameters over here and you'll notice the changes in these respective boxes. And over here, you have the instruction section once again. Just go through that before starting the simulation. And whatever variations you do over here, you have to make a table, which is there over here. Uh, and then finally, the plotting part. So let's not just waste any more time and uh, start the simulation. So for load regulation, what you have to do is first keep the DC uh, voltage to 6 volt. So make this DC voltage uh, as a 6 volt, okay? Move very slowly because uh, the glider makes a lot of changes. So I have made that DC voltage uh, to 6 volt. Now set the resistance, that is series resistance, this RS, uh, to say about 100 ohms, okay? So set this to 100 ohms. You can take the values as per your teacher advises you or as per the calculation that you have done from the theoretical section of the uh, calculation part. So over here, the next section is you have to uh, change the Zener voltage, you have to set the Zener voltage. So make that at 5.6, because that we usually take uh, during the experiments in our laboratory. So making it 5.6. So it's 5.6, I have made this DC voltage 6 volt, I have taken Rs to be 100 ohm. Now I have to vary this load resistance and I have to take the values and then I have to see the plot, how it turns out to be. So let's take it from zero or some value. Okay, so at the table, whatever values you take. So just glide through this portion. I'm taking arbitrary values. Please, uh, students, take the values in equal intervals. Uh, this I'm doing just in order to show you how the circuit works, okay? And 
just to lend you with the concept that uh, how a load regulator actually turns out to be the nature of the flop. But uh, when you're doing uh, in practicals, please take this uh, at re regular intervals. So I've taken quite a few of them and that's more than enough. Take at least 10, 12 readings. And after that, I've taken these readings. I've, uh, I wish to see the nature of the plot, how it turns out to be. So click on plot. And there you have uh, 